Hello there and welcome to my channel Novice Modelling in the Midlife Crisis. My name is Andy and I'm about to engage on another haul unboxing. Uh, the total value is 235 plus 40 plus 30 so that's 305 pounds. I do quite enjoy buying sort of alternative and slightly more interesting kits. Um, I've got quite a few of these unboxing haul unboxings on my YouTube playlist so if you like this kind of craziness please do have a look i'll put a link in the description box at the end of the video so let's get on it let's open this big one up first i think and i saw this and i thought oh big aircraft and i thought oh interesting aircraft and it is a zvezda Pek Petlyakov P-E-8-O-N and this is Stalin's personal plane and we can see our man Joseph here with a couple of his uh, henchmen and his uh, pilots and his car don't think you get the car and the pilots but I thought that was a kind of interesting big kit to actually have a go at at some point and we got that one and this one This Airfix Victoria Cross Icons, which comes with a Hurricane, a Hanley Page Hamden, a Bristol Blenheim Mark IV, and a Fairy Battle Mark I. Now, the reason I got this is I've kind of been after a Blenheim, but more importantly, I'm after a couple of uh, Fairy Battles. And these are really hard to get hold of because I don't think uh, Airfix produced them anymore, and you can only get hold of quite old kits, and they normally seem to go for about 20 quid. Now this one cost me 40 and I've got four aircraft in it. So it seems like a pretty good buy to me at the end of the day. And you know, I mean if I'd paid 20 for this one, I've got these ones for seven pounds each. So that's why that one came to me. Now we get into the big big box. Which is quite hard to get into what the joy we've got in here. Oh, we've got some uh, DO-17s in this one. So first off we've got a ICM DO-17Z2. This one comes in finish markings. Pop that one there. I've got an um, Italieri D-Day 80 years AS-51 Horsa. Mark 1 with the British paratroops. We've got a Brewster 239 Buffalo done in finish markings. Get that one down now. Got a Curtis Hawk H75A Mohawk Mark 4 by Kovazovodoy Postyov and 172. We can also mark this up for the Netherlands East Indies and an Indian squadron in the British Air Royal Air Force as well. Next up we've got another BF-109. I've got a few of these. This is an E7 Tropical by AZ Models, 172AZ7848, and is marked for the Croatian Eagles. We have a RS Models 92255, Diwatine D520. This is a French aircraft, which was used by a whole host of uh, other nations after the uh, capitulation. Next off we have a From Azure Fuckwolf FW58B for South America. And this one comes with Brazilian and Argentinian markings. This is a pre-war, I think it was originally designed as a sort of a light bomber light transport aircraft but was largely used in a training capacity apart from in south america where it was a it was a maritime patrol or something we have another azure from 172 this is a renard a sorry r31 this is one of the only um fighting aircraft that the belgians produced i thought that was kind of an interesting kit so i had to have that one we have a 
RS Models Dornier D017E. I've got quite a lot of D017s. You might not might notice because I actually really like this aircraft, and I tend to do it in eventually in a variety of different markings. So this one comes with two German, a Croatian, and a Spanish Civil War set of markings. We have a DO17K, again by RS Models. This one comes with captured British and two different, two, oh, sorry, a Croatian and a Royal Yugoslavian um, Air Force as they were actually using this prior to the Second World War. And next up we have another RS Models, DO17K. Told you, I did like them. This is the short engine nacelle version. And this one comes again with Royal Yugoslavian. Uh, I believe that one's Italian. And we have a is that one Hungarian. I think that's Hungarian markings on that one. So we've got a few different sets of markings that we can go for there. So that's all we've got for this particular video. I uh, hope you enjoyed looking at the, some of the weird and wonderful things that I've decided to build at some point over the next eight years. Because I do have, obviously, rather a lot of kits to get through. But having a marginally successful little YouTube channel, you have to have a lot of different things to go out and talk about. That's what I reckon anyway. So, thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe. And please remember to have a look at the other unboxings that we have or some of our other builds or bots in the box videos or just general talking about models more than happy to engage with you guys in the comments box so please do drop us a comment if you like and please do like and subscribe thanks a lot for joining us and be seeing you